The Siberian tundra, a frozen, endless expanse stretching across northern Russia, is one of the most mysterious and least understood regions on our planet. It's a place where time seems to stand still, where icy winds sweep over lifeless plains, and the temperature can plunge to minus 60 degrees. Dock workers at shipyards to take a break from work and the biting cold. From a distance, it appears timeless, unchanging, a world locked in eternal frost. But beneath this white wilderness lies a secret, one that has both terrified and fascinated scientists for years. Mystery at the end of the earth, giant gaping holes in the ground appearing out of nowhere. Hidden under layers of ice and permafrost, something powerful is stirring, something that has begun to tear open the surface of the earth itself. Across the tundra, enormous craters have started appearing. Deep, gaping holes that seem to emerge overnight. These massive voids, some wider than a football field and as deep as a 20-story building, have shaken the scientific community and baffled researchers across the world. They are so vast that an entire building could vanish inside them, leaving behind only the echo of the explosion that created them. To the indigenous Yakut people, who have lived in this frozen land for centuries, they are known as the gateways to hell. For generations, the Yakut told stories of fire bursting from beneath the ground, of thunderous booms that echoed across the tundra, and of spirits that rose from the earth when the balance of nature was disturbed. Those legends were often dismissed as myths, ancient folklore meant to explain the unknown. But now, science has revealed that those stories may have been rooted in real, physical events. Explosions of terrifying force caused by the thawing of the permafrost. The mystery first emerged in 2014. A helicopter pilot flying over the remote Yamal Peninsula noticed something strange. A perfectly circular hole in the tundra that hadn't been there before. It looked like the Earth had exploded from within. The crater was huge, more than 80 meters wide, with steep vertical walls and a dark bottom that seemed to vanish into the shadows. Photos of this bizarre feature quickly spread across the world, sparking wild theories. Some said it was a meteorite strike, others claimed it was the result of secret military testing, a few even believed it was evidence of alien activity. But as more of these craters began to appear across the Siberian north, in Yamal, Gidan, and Taimir, a chilling scientific explanation began to take shape. What researchers discovered was that these explosions were being triggered by a buildup of methane gas trapped beneath the permafrost, the layer of permanently frozen ground that covers much of Siberia. For thousands of years, this ice had locked away ancient organic matter, plants, animals and microbes frozen since the Ice Age. But as global temperatures rise and the Arctic warms faster than any other place on Earth, this frozen ground is thawing, releasing gases that have been trapped for millennia. As the methane warms, it expands, creating immense pressure below the surface. Eventually, that pressure becomes too great for the frozen ground above to contain. When it finally ruptures, the explosion can blast ice, soil and rock hundreds of meters into the air. The result is a massive crater, perfectly circular, carved out by nature's own fury. Over time, these craters often fill with water, becoming new lakes that scar the landscape. Scientists studying these sites were stunned by the scale of destruction. The edges of the craters were littered with debris, chunks of earth weighing several tons flung hundreds of meters away. Instruments recorded methane levels hundreds of times higher than normal atmospheric concentrations. The findings confirmed what many had feared. The Arctic's permafrost, once thought to be stable, is becoming dangerously unstable. Permafrost acts as Earth's freezer. It locks away organic material, the remains of plants and animals, and prevents it from decomposing. But when it melts, that organic matter begins to rot, releasing methane and carbon dioxide, two of the most potent greenhouse gases. Methane, in particular, traps heat in the atmosphere about 25 times more effectively than carbon dioxide. The more the permafrost melts, the more methane is released, and the more methane is released, the faster the Earth warms. It's a vicious cycle, a feedback loop that threatens to accelerate climate change beyond control. Standing at the edge of one of these craters is an unforgettable experience. The silence of the tundra is broken only by the howling wind. The smell of sulfur hangs faintly in the air. The crater's walls plunge downward into the earth, layer upon layer of ice and sediment exposed like pages in an ancient book. Looking into the darkness below, you can almost feel the planet breathing a deep, 
slow exhalation of heat and gas from the underworld. To the Yakut people, these explosions are not just geological events. They are warning, signs that the balance of nature has been disturbed. Elders tell stories of fire bursting from the tundra, of lights dancing across the night sky, of spirits awakening from their frozen sleep. For them, the craters are not mere holes in the ground, but wounds in the body of the earth itself. And in a way, they're right. Each crater is a scar, a physical mark of the damage caused by a changing climate. Scientists who have studied the craters describe them as cryogenic explosions, a phenomenon unique to the Arctic. They are not the result of meteor impacts or volcanic eruptions. No molten rock, no ash, no traces of cosmic debris. Instead, they are powered by the release of pressurized methane gas, a kind of natural bomb hidden beneath the ice. It goes to the place like a volcano where it gets to be so much gas it explodes. When the pressure exceeds the strength of the frozen layer above, the result is an explosion so violent it can be heard for miles. These craters are now being studied intensively. Using drones, satellites, and 3D mapping, scientists have documented over two dozen major sites, each one slightly different in shape and size. Some are shallow bowls. Others are deep, narrow shafts that seem to reach into the planet's core. Satellite imagery has revealed small, dome-like mounds, gas bubbles, forming across the tundra. These bulges could be future craters, waiting for the moment they burst. The possibility of more explosions worries both scientists and locals. Many of these gas mounds are located near pipelines, roads, and settlements. If one were to explode near human infrastructure, the results could be catastrophic. In some areas, the permafrost is melting so fast that the ground itself is collapsing, swallowing entire sections of forest and tundra in what locals call thermocast sinkholes. The the discovery of these craters has also reignited interest in the study of cryovolcanism, a form of volcanic activity that occurs not with molten lava, but with ice, water, and gas. Cryovolcanoes are known to exist on icy moons like Europa and Enceladus. The idea that similar processes might be happening on Earth, driven by methane beneath the permafrost, has fascinated planetary scientists. Studying these craters might help us understand not just our own planet, but others across the solar system. System. The permafrost itself holds secrets that stretch back tens of thousands of years. Frozen within it are the remains of extinct species like mammoths and woolly rhinoceroses, and ancient plant matter that once blanketed the region. As it melts, these relics of the Ice Age are being unearthed, perfectly preserved, but released into a world that's now rapidly warming. Some scientists warn that melting permafrost could even release ancient viruses and bacteria long trapped in the ice, creating biological risks we can barely predict. The Siberian craters, then, are more than geological curiosities. They are symbols of a planet undergoing radical change, a reminder of how fragile our environment really is. Each new crater is a message from the Earth itself, a sign that the frozen lands we once believed eternal are awakening in violent, unpredictable ways. When you look into one of these vast holes, you're not just staring into the ground, you're staring into time. The layers of Earth and ice exposed by the explosion reveal thousands of years of history. They tell the story of ancient climates, of freezing and thawing cycles, of ecosystems that once thrived and then vanished. By studying these layers, scientists hope to learn how Earth's climate has changed before and what might happen next. But beyond the data, beyond the science, there is something deeply unsettling about these craters. They are a physical reminder of humanity's impact on the planet, a visible mark of the warming we've caused. They remind us that the Earth is a alive, dynamic, and capable of fighting back in ways we can't control. Whether you see them as natural marvels or terrifying warnings, one thing is certain. The gateways to hell of Siberia are opening more frequently. The tundra is no longer silent. Beneath its frozen skin, pressure builds, gas expands, and eventually, the Earth explodes. It's a story of beauty, destruction, and transformation. A reminder that even the coldest places on Earth are not immune to the heat of change. The Siberian tundra, once thought to be frozen forever is awakening, and as it does, it forces us to confront an uncomfortable truth that our planet is changing faster than we ever imagined, and that the consequences of that change are already bursting from the ground beneath our feet.